hi everyone welcome back in my previous video we were able to send mqtt messages to a web-based broker using open plc in this video we will move a bit further by receiving message from the broker and hence controlling a pump over the internet via mqtt using esp8266 program with open plc let's get started Kindly subscribe if you've not done that already and also press on the notification bell. This way you will always be notified whenever I upload new videos. Okay, so using the setup from our previous tutorial, we will move ahead and then write our program. Okay, so using the example, I go to file and then open. And then I scroll to the MQTT send receive example. I click on the select folder and then double click on this to open the code okay so this is the code this is the block generator sorry the pause generator we have our mqtt connect mqtt subscribe block we have the mqtt send and then we have the mqtt receive so we can see the topic we are subscribing to okay let's do some bit of changes now we will need to turn on an LED whenever we connect. We will also need to blink the LED whenever we receive a message. And then the pump also we will need an LED to indicate that. Okay. With that done, we can now move ahead and compile this program to see if it works correctly. Okay. Great. I select my board and then the port. And then communication you need to set it up based on your router and then I click on the transfer to the PLC okay we can see transfer is done and then we can see that that's connected to the broker with the yellow LED on we will now move to the client okay I click on connect subscribe to this topic and then click on subscribe and then we can see that the message has been received great we will move ahead and then do a bit of changes the idea is we would like to send a message from the client and then open plc plc will receive this message and then we will re echo this message back to the client okay so i copy the message output send it to an input and then connect it to the message point of the send blog okay with this done we will now move ahead and then compile this code but before then let's take this section off and then i would like to rearrange the code a bit i would like to receive the message first before sending it so i would like the receive block to be on top of the send block Now connect it back and then do same for the send blog as well great we can now move ahead and then compile the code I click on compile okay we can see the code is being transferred to the ESP we can see the LED flashing on the board transfer is done we can wait for some time and see if it will connect to the client sorry the broker is connected now great and now minimize this and then open the client software and then go to publish and then at publish i can now subscribe to this topic or let's say i'll be publishing on this particular topic i delete the message and then send a hello message click on publish and then when we move to the subscription point we can see that the message has been transferred to the esp great i send another message ing made easy and then we can see that we've received it as such now let's try and control the output of the esp 
by writing some few codes so we will receive a message and then we decode the message to turn our pump on or off based on the code so i bring a set reset block resize it i copy this section and then connect it up and then change it to the pump output so i select pump i select ok and now need the message that we will receive from the MQTT client via the broker. I need to decode this message, so I need the string to integer converter. Connect it up and now move ahead and then move to the comparator block. I need an equal to comparator, two of them. One will analyze the on command and the other will analyze the off command. Okay, I need another string to integer converter and then I can now assign the messages to their inputs. Great. I now need to give a constant. So when I receive logic 1, I will turn the pump on and then when I receive the number 2, I will turn the pump off. Great. With this changes done, we can move ahead. I would like to also update the status of the pump via the MQTT. So I need a selection. We need to set it up just as we did in the previous tutorial. And then I move ahead and bring the concatenation block. Okay. I bring the contacts of the pump right here and then wire it up to the selection input okay I then need to specify what status I'll be sending one when the pump is on and then zero when the pump is off okay I connect them up zero to the first input and then one to the second input okay the output I will need a converter that will convert integer to string and then connect the output of the string converter to the concatenation block okay i connect the output also to the messaging input of the send block okay we need to have a constant information so i copy this one up okay change it to pump status equal to and I click on OK. Great. Right. We will then need to be able to send a message only when the pump changes states. So we will do that by using rising edge. So I move to the top. Go to the standard functions. And then I bring one rising edge and then the falling edge. Okay. Connect them to the block, send block. And then I need the status of the pump. So I copy the pump contact and then position it correctly. Connect it to the inputs of the rising and falling edge blocks. Okay, great. So when the pump is on, we'll send a message. And when it goes off, we'll send a message as well. Let me reposition this section as well. Great. Okay, good. So we have all set and done. We will now walk through the code quickly. This is our pulse generator. And then we have the MQTT connect. And we have the broker name and then the port. We have the MQTT subscribe. And this is the topic we are subscribing to. We have the MQTT receive. So we receive the message. And then we decode it with the block underneath. And then turn the pump on and off based on the status of the message okay we then send updates to the mqtt broker via the mqtt send block great we can now move ahead and then compile our code okay so i check my board i check my ports and then the communication configuration they are all the same i now click on transfer
okay so we can see transfer the compilation is ongoing transfer is also ongoing transfer is done and let's wait for some time and see if it will connect yes the yellow light is on it has connected to our broker we can now move ahead open the client software go to publish now let me position it so i can have the publish and subscribe side by side okay i now change the publish information to one and then say publish and we can see immediately our lead comes on and then the status is also being displayed i send two and the pump led goes off and then the status is updated as well great it's really working perfect there's a lot of projects you can do out of this in our next tutorial we will move ahead and then use connect our system with node red thank you for watching see you in the next tutorial bye bye